Hey guys, it's hosk 101 mc and I'm on the Elemental Faction server, and yeah, this is my server, it's pretty much the remake of the OPMC server, if you remember that, it was like almost a year ago that it's been down, and yeah guys, um, I really want to put it back up, because a lot, it's due to high demand, a lot of people wanted me to have it up, so, <coughs> yeah, because I had the kid server, um, if you guys watch my videos before, I just released a kid server, and then, everyone on the kid server was like, Hey, I liked your faction server better. Um, it'd be better if you made the faction server. So I'm like, alright. So then, I'm um, back to making the faction one. It's almost exactly like OPMC. Um, like the old, old MP OPMC. Like, a lot of it's, it's based the same. But a lot of, the really custom thing about my server, like the unique thing about it, is we have custom hit detection. So, um, I'll put in a clip. Here, we'll sh which will show the custom hit detection, and yeah, you can get like crazy combos with it, and I think it's gonna be awesome because um, there's a problem if you if you ever play an original PvP on that you can eat golden apples and you can tank like you can tank forever. If you just keep on spamming golden apples, not OP apples, but just regular golden apples, which I really despise because it's just I just hate that type of PvP because you could just like survive all the time if you just spam golden apples so that way on my server you can get comboed so you can't really tank because you you can get more you can get more hits per second so you can't tank anymore and now go op apples they're they're still kind of op but they're not super op where you they're like like super tank like you just eat it and then you go because because you know if you if you remember the old minecraft if you had a god apple, you, you could get comboed so hard, because back on old Minecraft, the more region you had, the easier it was to get comboed. I don't know why, but that's how it was. But I like that, that was my favorite version of Minecraft back then, because, I don't know, it was just really fun. And there's that, that's why on my server there's going to be custom hit detection, because I really like that kind of PvP. Although I couldn't make it where it's like, if you get a god apple, then you can get comboed. Cause I don't know, I don't really know how to do that. I only know how to like just change hit detection in general. But anyways, yeah. So it's really great that now if you eat a god apple, and you can't really, you can tank, but just keep in mind that your arm is still gonna break fast too, cause um you can still get comboed. So yeah. <laughs> and anyways, I'll show you guys uh the default kit when you first join the server. Slash clear real fast and. Slash kit. Slash kit first join. It's not really stack. It's just that I'm op. It will stack armor and stuff. Anyways, this is the this is the default kit that you get when you first join the server. You get two god apples, proc two and breaking one, shark three, fire one, and you get um fire res and speed. I advise you guys not to jump out in PvP with <laughs> two sets of. Um, your starter kit. This is because this is all you get when you first join. Um, but you do get a daily kit, which I'll show you guys later. But look, you have some armor to make a base. You have some fried chicken. Um, thanks to Jay. And you have um, chain bottles, coal, gold, and all the, all the, all those goodies. And then you slash clear. I'm right, gonna take the armor, armor off first. Slash clear. And you do kit daily. Now this is only for like, I mean yeah, kit daily is for everyone actually. For like everyone, including the default players, get one god apple, shark tooth, um, fire one, because we don't want kid, we don't want kid daily to be um the same sort, a shark three, as um first join because then people would just keep on getting it daily and daily, and they would eventually become too op and make the server just way too unbalanced. And yeah, so that's only for default. And for donors, you get a lot of goods. We're we're not. I mean, we, I am, like, done making the donor kits, almost done, almost done. don't worry, and, but, my friends are making, my friends are supposed to be putting the signs here, but, uh, it looks like they're not done putting the signs, and, yeah, it's the same, it's the same donors, it's the same donor ranks, it's pretty much iron, but we call it different things, like, knight, warrior, legend, hero, king, titan, and overlord, yeah, I kind of like the new names, because, the old ones are kind of you know basic you know we just have a little little board sort of like staff list 
and events. And I don't know why David's name is in front of mine. <laughs> but yeah. We've been um customizing the war zone now. Include a lot of venues where people would like to PvP. Because we know on like some like on some servers, PvP servers, there's like there's always that one spot that people always PvP. And like so we made a lot of them. We have well, um this is like the I don't know what this is called. Um this troll calls it gazebo. I'm not sure if that's right. But anyways. Yeah, it's just like a little island. Surrounded by water. It's like it's for like water fights. And you can also like get on top of that. And then we have this little bridge coming into here. If you ever been on OG, this is kinda like Orb Destiny, but I just like this so much I had to remake it. But we don't want to copy Matt too much so we, we made it like a lot of islands and stuff. Because we don't want to copy Matt. But thanks to Matt for the idea. And <coughs> we're still customizing Warzone. And we have, I'll show you all the warps. We have Warp Wild that Jason was proud of made. As, I don't know, it's just, I don't know why he makes Warp Wild like so detailed and has like enchanting spots. And I don't know, you just come here if you want to like get, a, if you want to go travel make a base. It's like easy way from PvP. Oh, Stroke is here. And we also have Warp Anvil. Oh, wait, no. I'd rather go to Warp Enchant because it has anvils too. Warp Enchant looks better. And yeah, you could buy enchanting bottles. And you could also go to a warp, um, warp, sh warp shop. And the shop isn't completely done, but I'll, I'll help them work on it because th it's kind of hard for them to work on it. I don't know, I personally don't like working on shop, but um, we'll, it'll be finished by the time the server comes up because I still need to render, th render this. And yeah, so it's just a little bit. We need to do on the server. And the hit detection, I'll TP Mr. Troll. Wait, TPA here, TPA Mr. Troll. I'm testing hit detect. Okay. I want to test uh, hit detection. It got apple. Just actually, put armor. On. I'll give him armor. There. And here, guys. I'll show you guys the the hit detection. If you know on old Minecraft, it's hard to get a lot of hits, but now you can go, you can combo people. So now, look, you can get a lot of hits per second. Now. I don't like it. We didn't want to make it too crazy, but we don't want to make it like too bad. Yeah, guys. So that's like custom hit detection, which is really great. And yeah, guys. So I think that's gonna be a that's gonna be it for the um OPMC server um reopening, which is practically elemental factions. And yeah. So yeah, join with the IP elementalfactions.net. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.